Okay, let us discuss problem number 1.68. And this is the easy problem. So 1.68. Let me first make the diagram. So we have a horizontal plane. The object is kept on a horizontal plane. And there is a force that is applied on this object that is that makes an angle alpha with the horizontal and the force is F. Mass of the object is M. And let us say this question says at a moment T is equals to 0, force F is equals to 80 applied to the object M. So this force starts at T is equals to 0, so it starts. And force is given by this expression A into T. So magnitude of force is given by A into T. This means uh, you can plot. So you see, I will have a graph something like this. If you increase the time, force will directly. So this side you have force. On the x axis you have time. So the constant is A. Slope is A. So the force is linearly varying. So this means as time goes, you are increasing this force. But the angle is always constant. This force always acts at an angle alpha. So alpha is constant. So this means direction of force is constant. Direction is not changing. So direction of force. Direction of force is constant. So this is always acting an angle of force is constant. Now the friction coefficient on a smooth horizontal plane. So this is a smooth. Mu is equals to zero. So this is a smooth. This is also given to you. So this is a smooth horizontal plane. Find the time velocity of the object when the object leaves the plane. So breaking off. Find the velocity. So find the velocity is what? At a time when this breaks off. So at the time of breaking off. Breaking off. Second part says. So this is the first part. Second part. The distance covered by the object up to this moment. So you have to find distance covered. So first part you have to find the velocity. Second part you have to find the distance traveled up to the time when this just breaks off. So what is the meaning of breaking off? Breaking off means you see, if you see this, I think you have written this one. You see this one diagram. The force will acting in this direction. So it will have a comp two component. F cos alpha in this direction epsilon alpha in this direction. You see normal reaction is also acting in this direction. Mz is acting in the downward direction. If you see, if you make a free body diagram for this object, so this Mz is acting downward and this force is acting in this direction. This will have one component in this direction that is F cos alpha because this angle is alpha f cos alpha in this direction, f sin alpha in this direction. Are you getting? On the same object, normal reaction will also act in the vertical direction. You see, as time goes, this force increases. Because force is given by A into T. So force increases, this force upward direction force increases that is f sin alpha increase but normal the downward direction force mg remains constant so there will be a time when this f sin alpha plus n is equals to mg n becomes zero so let us write the equation in the vertical direction i can write f sin alpha plus n this is equals to mg f sin alpha so n is equals to mg minus and f is a t AT sin alpha. So you see a time will come when this normal reaction becomes zero. So what is the time when normal reaction becomes zero? So T is mz by A sin alpha. So this is the time when normal reaction becomes zero. This means at this point of time this object will leave the plane because in the vertical direction there is a no normal reaction. So at this time, this will break off the horizontal plane. So this is the breaking of time. So this time it will break off. Are you getting? So at this point of time, it will break off. So now we have to find out the what is the velocity. Now things are very simple. You have to find out the velocity. So let us write horizontal direction equation F cos alpha 
in a horizontal equation is equals to mass into acceleration mass into acceleration m dv by dt f is given by a t so a t cos alpha is equals to m dv by dt now you can integrate this one and then you can get velocity at the time of breaking off so let us copy this one i can write this is so this equation can be i think you have written this one so this equation can be written as a cos alpha into t dt is equals to m dv. Now velocity initial is 0, time 0, initial final velocity v and time mg by a sin alpha. So let us say this time is mg by a sin alpha, that is the breaking of time, mg by a sin alpha. So if you integrate this, so this is a cos alpha this is t square by 2 and and the lower limit it will become 0 and upper limit it will have mz by a sin alpha that is t square by 2 are you getting this side will have m into v so you will have velocity is equals to let us say divide by mass so you will have mz a cos alpha g square basically will have you can calculate yourself so mm goes out wonder m remains divided by a square sin square alpha one e also goes out so v will be mz square cos alpha divided by 2a sin square alpha so this is the breaking of velocity are you getting or not so this is the breaking of velocity, copy this one. Now next part you have to find out the what is the distance travel. So you can use this expression for velocity and you can find distance travel. So you see I use it I have used this equation. So A cos alpha and this is 0 to let us integrate up to T T dt are you getting 0 to 2 T dt and let us integrate from 0 to 2 e and this is 0 to V dv. So this side you have dv and m. Let us integrate 0 to v. Are you getting? And then you will get expression for velocity. So if you do this one, so you will have a cos alpha. Are you getting? And this is t square by 2 is equals to m v. Are you getting? So let us take this m this side. So we will have v is equals to a cos alpha divided by 2m t square. Now again you can write v is equals to ds by dt. You can integrate one more time. So ds is equals to a cos alpha by 2m t square dt and this time 0 to distance travel s and time that is the breaking of time that is uh, mz by a sin alpha mg by a sin alpha are you getting or not now you have to do your integration your own so if you follow this integration you will get the value so you will have distance s is equals to m square gq cos alpha divided by you will have 6a square 
sin q alpha so you can do yourself this integration and then you will get this distance so let me see how many of you are able to get this equation final answer you are able to get or not so you should able to get this one so let us wait for some time and integrate so integration after integration you will have t q by 3 and 3 into 2 6 and this will be m q z q so m m goes out so you will have only m square z q and you will have cos alpha and sin q alpha will come into the denominator so this integration is fairly simple and this side will have 0 to s so basically what we have done is we have found velocity as a function of time and then we have integrated one more time so we have this expression let me see how many of you are able to understand what we are saying Okay, finish it here. You copy yourself. I think you can do now. So just copy the answer and then you prove yourself. Copy the answer, prove yourself. We'll go for the next problem. 